Hi, I'm Johnny. Welcome back to my Food Fest series. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to make a delicious pea risotto with a little bit of a twist. What I've done is made a pea puree. I'm going to let this down with water. Then I'm going to make that into a pea stock and I'm going to cook the risotto rice in that. So it is just ridiculous easy to make, okay? So all I've done, boiled peas, bit of water, salt, pepper, taking my food blitzer, blitzed it up. I'm going to stick it in this pan. Make sure you get all that out because we want all that flavour. Top that up with water. And this is going to make your stock. Whack that on full whack. Okay, so I've got my pan hot. What I'm going to do is just add a little bit of olive oil and I'm going to go in with some onions. So, let's soften these. So we'll go in, just a quick one, salt and pepper. So they're now soft. I'm now going to go in with my arborio rice. So, go in with that. Give that a mix. Get it coated in all that um, onions, the oil. Sweat it off just ever so slightly. This stage, I'm going to go in with, with a little white wine vinegar, just ever, ever so slightly. White wine's preferable, but if you've not got anything, you can make do. Just a touch, just a touch, that's all you need. Get yourself a ladle. I'm going to go with a, a couple of ladles of stock. So just keep it moving. This is the most important part. We don't want anything sticking. We want that hot stock to coat the rice. We want it, you know, to get everything cooking. At this point now, what I'd do is I've got this, this pan on. I'm going to go in with a little bit of oil. A great chef tip is when you've added the oil, then add the butter. The reason being, that butter ain't ever going to burn. So, in with your ham. Give that a toss. Keep your eye on it. So we're going to go with a little bit of salt and pepper. Just give that a mix, get it coated. You can see again, starting to get thick. So let's go in with another couple of ladles of stock. Keeping your eye on it all, all the way, all the time. Keep your eye on this, give them a toss. Get that lovely and crispy. So the bacon lardons are done. Simply, if they're done before like these are, get yourself a colander, just tip them in. Leave them on the side. Risotto, I would say it's three quarters of the way there now. Mascarpone, so give that a good mix. Next one. Mascarpone's gone in. I'm going to hit it with a bit of parmesan. Get all that whisked in. It's looking a little bit thick, still got a little bit of stock left. Add it in, just loosen it up. Now we're going to go in with the peas. Add all them in. So, I'm going to go bacon. I'm going to save a couple though. I'll show you why later. Keep that mixing. Let's have a taste. So, you get the creaminess, you get the, the nice saltiness from the parmesan. Maybe a touch more there. Risottos love black pepper, love black pepper. So, and we're gonna go with, as well, just a little bit of cream. This cream, however, I've, I've done something a little bit different. I whipped up some cream, added some salt and pepper, I also added a couple of mint leaves chopped up really finely because we all know pea and mint go beautifully together so why not try and add a little bit more, try and be a little bit more creative. So give that a mix. Quick little tip. Take a bit of lemon, a bit of lemon, just a couple of drops, cut straight through it. Instantly lights it up. So what I've got here, we're going to start trying to finish off the dish now. It's an emulsion, it's a, shrill, it's a real, real chef -y term. This is how we get our veg real buttery and seasoned perfectly. So we've got, I've got salt, pepper, water and butter into this one. Stick that on a high heat. Once that's hot, we're going to add in the kale. So I've brought that up to the boil. Butter, water, salt, pepper, you know the drill. In with the kale and move it away. And that will cook gently. Leave it in there for a minute, minute and a half, maybe two just depending, so get yourself a spoon. Just 
going to lay it. Oh, look at it. It's creamy, full of flavour. If this sort of recipe floats your boat, make sure you hit the subscribe button because I want to see you back next time. Take out the kale. Put that straight in the middle. Space it out if need be, like that. The rest of them bacon lardons, just scatter them on top. Get yourself some of this. Obviously, this isn't essential. This is just little cress, little micro cress. But I think it adds a real lovely peppery touch as well. So rip yourself off a little bit of them in a minute. Dip yourself a spoon. If you can do this, you can do this. This is just me being a bit, a bit pretentious. Get yourself that lovely mint cream I made earlier. Tilt your bowl on the side, in, and then we're just going to shape it there. Make it well, put that on top. And that is just called a pretentious rocher, really. It's just a, it's just a chefy term. So rip yourself off some little bit of cress, and it has a lovely peppery touch. Put that on top, as much as you want. I think it looks lovely on top as well. So there you go, people. That's my delicious, very cheap, very easy, little bit of a twist, pea and bacon risotto. Hope you enjoy it, and I hope to see you back next time.